Hey fantasy football fans, I'm the fantasy football girl and this is Secret Weapons, the show that keeps your fantasy team and football talk on target. Because sometimes the only rapport you have time to analyze is not between a veteran QB and his rookie receiver, but rather you and your brand new way too cute to be single neighbor. So, if you're looking for some key fantasy tips or a few NFL-related talking points, you know, so you have something to say to the new hottie next door when you see him sporting his team's jersey on Sunday, then this is the show for you. The matchup I'd like to take a look at heading into Week 8 is the Miami Dolphins at New York Jets. There's been a lot of jawing between these teams, which should make for some interesting on-field antics. You see, last month, just before they met for the first time in Week 3, Jets head coach, the ever-articulate Rex Ryan, quipped that his defense would be pouring a little hot sauce on the Dolphins' star running back Reggie Bush. Interestingly enough, Bush went down with a knee injury in the second quarter of the game. Hmm. The Dolphins would go on to defeat the Jets in overtime, but some players on the team felt that the Jets had intentionally tried to hurt Bush, which is an obvious no-no in the NFL. When word spread a few days later that Jet stud corner Darrell Rivas had also hurt his knee in the game and would be out for the remainder of the season, Bush responded by saying, what goes around comes around, insinuating that he felt as though the Jets had gotten what they deserved. This time around, both teams are fired up and out for blood, for lack of a better word. Ugh. From a fantasy perspective, I expect Bush to bring the heat. Yeah, I said it. The Jets are second to last in the league against the run, so start the Dolphins running back with confidence. The rest of Miami's offense, on the other hand, may not have as easy of a time. Even with Revis out, the Jets' pass defense has been on fire. I did it again. In fact, they're giving up the fewest fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. This week, all other Dolphins should stay on the beach and off of fantasy rosters. On the Jets' side of the ball, QB Mark Sanchez has been erratic to say the least. Plus, he just got dumped by Eva Longoria, so I'd pass on the pretty boy. If you're desperate to start a Jet, however, I'd opt for Jeremy Curley, who has stepped up since Antonio Holmes went down with a foot injury. I also think tight end Dustin Keller, who recently returned from a hamstring injury and scored a touchdown last Sunday, is a great sleeper this week. He and Sanchez have always had a budding bromance, and Miami is middle of the pack against the tight end position. So, if you're interested in digging deep, pick up DK. Reporter Phil Richards of the Indie Star recently published an article about the NFL's dirtiest little secret. Can you guess what it is? Steroid use? Illegal hits? Ooh, bounties? Nope. It's actually mouthpieces. Yeah, that little plastic thing that players keep in their mouths during plays and often stick in their face masks between whistles is absolutely filthy. Richard explains that athletic mouth guards are used to not only protect a player's teeth, tongue, and lips, but that they also act as shock absorbers to prevent concussions. What many pros fail to realize, however, is that this tiny piece of equipment also contains a ton of bacteria, yeast, and mold. In fact, everything from blood and mucus to other players' DNA and animal feces, yeah, animal feces, have been found on NFL mouth guards. Of course, most players have bigger things, like a 300-pound defender barreling towards them, to worry about. Still, I know I'll think differently the next time I see a player stick his mouthpiece in the waistband of his pants and then back in his mouth. Ugh. When Redskins fans learned that their beloved tight end, Chris Cooley, was being cut from the team back in August, they were upset. Like, really upset. After all, before the arrival of RG3, Cooley was the best thing about the Skins. The two-time Pro Bowler didn't just show up for fans on the field, but he was a hoot off of it as well. Earning himself the nickname Captain Chaos, Cooley wore many hats throughout his NFL career, including indie film producer, blogger, and Potter. <laughs> Last Sunday, when the Skins' current starting tight end, Fred Davis, was forced to end his season early due to an Achilles injury, fans started whispering that the team might make a play to get Cooley back. After all, he was still living in the Washington area and hadn't signed with a different team. Two days later, it was announced that Cooley would be re-signing with the Skins. Two days after that, it was reported that Cooley tried to negotiate a case of beer into his new contract. I guess some things never change. Cheers, Washington fans. 
Thanks so much for watching. This has been Secret Weapons, and I'm the fantasy football girl reminding you to always win big.